Things are going great for the current administration. Fantastic. We're building back better than ever. If you ignore the crippling inflation, the infantile leadership, skyrocketing gas prices, shortages of vast about everything, stable coin becoming unstable, <laughs> journalists throwing tantrums over Twitter because of jokes, no! begging oil companies to lower gas prices. Vladimir Putin's price hike, which price hike are both capitalized, I'm not sure why, but Vladimir Putin's price hike, all caps, are driving up costs for consumers. I appreciate your immediate attention to this issue and your efforts to mitigate the economic challenges that Vladimir Putin's actions it was all have created Putin. for that American That son of a family. bitch. So Putin's mentioned it five times, I think. $98! I have to decide between buying gas or buying food! Take that, ExxonMobil. Peepaw sent you a strongly worded letter that you'll ignore, much like my love letters to Pokimane. Then everything is just fine. Yes, the news we're getting from the security services is that everything is fine here and back to normal. That's the latest. As you can see behind me, everything is now fine. Uh, ignore the smoke. That's just from the recent explosion because, as I say, everything is fine now. Jake Paul, by the way, just blew all his money on cryptocurrency. Wasn't that the guy who started financial freedom? Imagine that. The dude who was going to make you rich and financially free because you're smarter than the previous generation. Blew all his money on sh coins. And I've had enough of it. Our generation is better than this. We deserve better. We're smarter. We deserve better. We're smarter. <laughs> I'd hate to be that teenage kid that actually paid for financial freedom. Shut up, Mom. Jake Paul is my guru. Anyway, you might have remembered my last video where I showed off Zoomers failed to remember which area code they lived in. Well, the White House has been capitalizing on TikTok being popular with the Zoomers and recruiting many influencers and celebrities to make Grandpa seem like he's with it rather than off his rocker. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we come to the part of the program which is always my favorite because it means something. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. Sometimes when I'm ordering my weed paraphernalia, I'm region locked from my Asian goodies due to me being a filthy America gene this. Surfshark is great for changing your region to get a hold of those sweet Bandai model kits. Or maybe you're using your internet to look for, I don't know, a copy of Butt Bongo Fiesta, let's say. But you don't want your personal ads showing what you've been up to, you filthy little degenerates. You can also use this on your PC, phone, and gaming consoles. If only you could VPN your ex-girlfriends. Surfshark even goes the extra mile by writing a blog that explains to you how you can even save money on airline tickets. Using a VPN, this is crazy. I didn't know you could do this. Let's not forget, you could use Surfshark to watch region lock content, wink, wink. Click the link in the description or use the code it's a gun to find out how you could save 83% and get three months off for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't lose. There are even TikTokers and celebrities, and I use the term loosely, that did videos on the don't say gay bill. And that's what progressives have deemed it. It's actually called the Parental Rights and Educations Act, but that doesn't sound really evil, so it needed to be changed. Help me understand, don't say gay. All right, people, say it with me. Gay. Come on, you can do better than that. When I say gay, you say gay, gay. Gay! Gay, 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 I say gay. I hope this gay man dancing around and saying gay has really helped you understand how hard it is to live in Florida as a gay person. The Parental Rights Education Act that I can be summed up in just a few words just to save us all some time basically means that you can't say anything or promote anything sexual to children in kindergarten and I believe up to third grade. So, you know, no trans, no bi-on-binary, not even heterosexual stuff. And notice how the heterosexuals don't seem affected by this. Because we all understand kids should be allowed to be kids. How do you expect a child that can't understand the complexity of tying a knot in their shoes to understand the 50 billion pronouns you people have come up with? So you all wanted a new TikTok about how I use my new pronouns, which are B and fairy. Or the complexity of the new genders we're getting. It makes no sense. I'm sorry. 
call me a fascist, but I think a little kid in kindergarten should be enjoying naps and graham crackers. He's a monster. That's it. They don't need to hear about how you're transitioning into something or how this matters to you. You're an adult. Get your validation from someplace else. These poor little buckaroos should be enjoying Barbie or Ken or whatever the hell kids like these days. God forbid children are allowed to be children. The second they grow up, that's when they'll be pulled into the darkness that is adulthood. And believe me, they'll have an entire lifespan of to just trudge through while Twitter tells them they're either A, bigots or B, heroes for talking about them transitioning into becoming a kitten self pronoun. I'm going to say this, and this is my thing. If there's a don't say gay bill, there should be a don't say straight bill mm -hmm. because it's not fair. And there are Raven Simone proving that she doesn't know what the f is going on anymore. Literally, there is no sexual talk to the little kiddies till third grade. How draconian multiple kinds of humans in this world. And you are ruining the psyche, the confidence of so many young children because you are discrediting their parents, the people they love, the people that raise them, the people that teach them the manners when they walk into that schoolroom. So if you're not gonna honor their family, your family shouldn't be honored either. So let's just make it even slash equal maybe. You don't drive up to people in your Lamborghini, splash them with mud, and when they go, what'd you do that for? You go, I'm speaking truth to power. You know, it's amazing. I make stupid YouTube videos, you know, to goof on things. And I have to put more effort into knowing what the hell's going on than someone who's actually on a national television show. Here's one of the most bigoted parts of the bill. The bill states that parents have the right to be informed about their children's educational program and requires school districts to promote parental involvement by providing families access to children's classwork and instructional materials. It also recognizes a parent's right to withdraw a child from portions of the school's curriculum. How archaic. A parent is in charge of their own kid? Wow, what is this, 1975? Classroom instructions by school personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through third grade or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards. Oh my God, it's like I'm reading hit <laughs> Mein Kampf. But hey, that's life. Uh, that's probably why I have to pay attention because Mama Susie will choke the living hell out of me. Remember when the White House had Cooper come in for a day to be an intern? Man, that was pretty funny and cool. There was nothing cringy about this. One sec. Democracy's calling. <laughs> See you, Daddy. Bye. Hi, my name is Cooper, and this is a day in my life as a White House intern. We did it, Joe. <laughs> hey, everyone. Vogue. Usually I start off with a big coffee. Sorry, they're like really. You know what's sad? This came out and I swear to God, I just thought like it was some meme someone made up. I didn't even know the White House actually paid for this. I was like, oh, it's some influencer pretending to work at the White House. And now looking back at it with the state of my country, this was a total red flag. Now the guy who played this is actually a comedian and Instagram star. They give these titles to anybody now. Funny how I'm not considered a comedian or a star. I'm just an alt-right troll. But anyway, wouldn't this be considered homophobic by today's stringent standards of what's good and bad, or have I lost my mind? What's that, Stu? It's only bad when I do it. Okay. The fact that they recruited a girl who's most famous for dancing to talk to people about current political issues in the country they probably watch her because they have the attention span of goldfish or they're pounding off to her videos makes absolutely no sense to me. It would be the equivalent of getting a porn star to like explain to you what's going on. God, I need a porn star's name. It would be like Belle Dolphine explaining gas problems to simps. That's all the girl had to do? That's what she's famous for? Really? Jesus H. Christ, when you're a man, you literally have to be talented beyond measure to get a crumb of clout. He's gay! Okay. What? What? It's literally like five seconds 
four clips out of this chick's day and they're like, it's content because you think she's attractive. Wow. I'll never vote Democrat again. This is what we wasted tax dollars on. We paid her to do this. Why is gas so expensive and why is the United States inflation rate- Why is gas so expensive, TikTok girl? A four time decade high. I had the opportunity to ask the White House why gas down the street is $7. Because our administration's stupid, number one. And here's what they said. The obvious reason we are getting out of a two year pandemic when use goes up, price goes up. But the call was predominantly about Ukraine and Russia, so how does that relate? Russia is one of the top three producers of oil and it is actually their number one revenue source. Now with Putin starting this horrific fight between Ukraine. The fact that this chick had to do so many takes to tell you minimal amounts of information and questions that were carefully curated is absolutely appalling, number one. And two, I'm glad she stuck in a plug for Gas Buddy, which I'm sure also gave her some money. And it don't matter if you live in LA, the gas is expensive everywhere. What are you gonna do? Drive three hours to save what, 10 cents? Well, I'm glad that, that illuminating video was made to help. We also had the Jonas Brothers show up to the White House. I'm not even gonna bother playing that because I've had enough cringe for today, but it's not over. Before I just assumed this was just stupid crap that kind of just happened, you know, like nothing major, but it turns out that there's more to it than this. You might have been wondering, why would I bother with this subject considering most of these videos are old? Well, I paid them no mind originally until I saw this article by Vice that says a PR firm is paying TikTok influencers to promote liberal causes and hype Democrats middling accomplishments. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. Vocal media recruits, trains and pays influencers to promote liberal causes on TikTok. It's easy to see how less benign actors could use their model. This article does enlighten you as to how a lot of these little movement videos and people all of a sudden caring about things they didn't care about now care were being paid to do so on behalf of obviously the Democrats, which as in Oscar Wilde's book, A Picture of Diane Gray and stated by Lord Henry, all influences immoral. And I find this to be immoral. Now we may disagree on what exactly benign would be, but I find it odd that this method is being used. And once this door or Pandora's box is open, it will never be closed. Also, if you look through the article, it does state many of the things they cover or they pay influencers to talk about. I'm curious if you find being interested in covering a story on vocal media, a media firm that actually recruits, trains, and pays social media influencers to make videos on important policy topics like abortion, gun violence, etc. A Hone Strategist Communications associate wrote in an email last week that went directly to this journalist. But they also point out TikTok has been remarkably clear that partisan and political ads and these are ads in that people are being paid to promote something on behalf of a third party are not OK. Issuing a statement in October 2019 that read in part, we will not allow paid ads that promote or oppose candidates, current leaders, political parties or groups or issue at the federal, state, or local level, including election-related ads, advocacy ads, or issue ads. But an analysis from Mozilla Foundation in 2021 found that influencers were easily skirting the ban, concluding that the company's policy, ad policies, are easy to evade. Meanwhile, if I do an ad, like in this video, I have to inform you and click a little button, or YouTube beats me. They take off my shoes, they hang me upside down and beat my feet. Point being, I guess you can't really trust anything. Even TikTok can be used as a weapon to push an agenda. Well, there you go. Now you can't trust cute little girls doing cute little dances. Oh, well, time to do something funny. I just found this slightly interesting. 